What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Ollie Watkins at 114,000 coins. He seems to be teetering around about 110 to 120 at the moment. Brand new out for his hat trick and is the featured team of the week for this week. He is a free star, four star with controlled work rates. We've got a striker or center forward in the Prem. Incredible pace, which I think is the big thing for him. And I like the sound of an engine. Engine's definitely the way to go with him. Keeps him, well, puts him controlled explosive with 94 pace, 79 passing, and 87 dribbling. Mainly to get that agility balance up to 89 and 86 at the minimum. We've already got relatively nice shooting for him for an 85 with 90 finishing, 88 positioning, and 85 shot power. That's not bad at all. We've got chip shot. We've got rapid and also relentless as his play style pluses or play styles. It's an interesting card. I feel like as a starter striker for what? I can imagine he'll drop down quite quickly. Under 100k at a minimum. He's going to be all right. He may not be the best in the business, but as we saw with Prem Strikers, other than the absolute top, the middle category needs a bit of filling. And I think Ollie Watkins could fill that position. So let's have a look and see what he can do. I'd like to tell you about skycoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise, from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts, from trusted sellers, pro players, and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games, and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. On to the video. Into Watkins. Can we find something from him though? Get a bit of right stick dribbling. Little driver cross Savic with it. I must admit in terms of strikers, there's a couple that I've liked, but nobody, well, I say nobody like Mbappe, which is going to be self-explanatory, but nobody that's really taken my fancy massively from the very, very start. It's a good turn and shot, but a little bit on the, the static side. Kolo Moane funds the finish though. There he is again. Get a bit of a pace one there. Nice. Double ball roll on the inside. And Savic with it again. I thought he might have come across that time. Watkins looking for it. Okay, just run straight at him is always going to be a great tactic of mine. Little over the top for Son though. Finds the right foot and it's a very unusual save from Ramsdale. Watkins going for a bit of pace here. Every time, honestly, if we can remove Savic, we actually get some good shocks from him, but... In terms of trying to get past the defenders, I'm finding a little bit blocky at times. Nothing too crazy going forward. I think shot-wise might be there, but in terms of uh, kind of actually having the dribbling, a little bit on the struggling side as he tries to come back against Kolo Moane. Does enough to give the pressure onto him at the very, very minimum. Sees himself on the left mid this time now. I was kind of hoping some would make a little bit more of a run for that, to be honest. Get it back to him. Nice. Can we get the cut in here? Little fake on the inside. Fallen for Colo. Watkins looking for something. Goes for the power. And that's exactly what we want from that finishing. A beautiful strike from him. Finally. Finding some opening at the minimum. Once that defense opens. The gap is there for, uh, for Watkins. To absolutely slap it home. Watkins again. He's good on this turn. This kind of pace here. That is kind of what you want to do. But the... Just, oh, that's poor. That's very poor from myself. But just kind of having to try and stop, that, that's where he kind of falls down in terms of that side of the dribbling. Watkins looking for the through ball if he can. That's going oh, I was kind of hoping he would bring the defender forward. Nobody, literally every time like I double guess somebody, they always go the other way. Oh, Watkins is through the middle if he can. Oh, what? This is this is it. You almost get kind of through and then suddenly somebody just puts a foot in and it just makes you stumble, which most definitely is not the way forward. And it's the, it's the same either way. I'm not saying that it's only my players that have that because most definitely defenders do have that ability to just stop a player dead. So pace is, is a factor, but then also isn't at times as well, which is a little bit frustrating. Trying to find Watkins through here is he's very one-dimensional going forward, which... Already leads me to believe that he most definitely is not going to be 100k for very long. So going into the pricing though, 118. I, I, do, I do see him coming down quite quickly. We look, normally it's always good to look at the other team in the weeks, especially as we get more and more. You can kind of get a hint of where people are going to land. There is no team of the weeks there. Team of the week one is probably the only one that 
might be a little bit different, a little bit less packed. But to be fair, we did have the game pretty early on and I feel like a lot of packs were open regardless. So we already can see trends of players like Dybala 100, Lewandowski's kept his 180, which is pretty good. And I must admit, I was, I was expecting Kane to drop a little bit more at 130, even though 91 rated already on the base is crazy. We can already see that the Odegaard's starting to come down. I feel like especially once we get upgrades Monday, we may see a drop in Watkins as well, even rival rewards tomorrow slash champs rewards for the first time. We could see an absolute slash in price here, but I like that they are upgrading them really on their merit. 85 rated at a lovely five increase. I think he's had a good upgrade from the, the whole basis really. He's a three star, four star on both of them, which is always nice, but I don't think he's worth over 100k. The pace is good. Uh, dribbling wise is a little bit non-existent, especially with only the three star skills. If you are running him maybe as a solo striker, I just think he would struggle unless you were kind of going for the heading aspect, but then not being over six foot again could hinder you a little bit, I suppose. But in terms of a player, like I said, he's not necessarily going to be the standout Haaland or kind of an Nkunku special version. He is going to stand on his own. I still think engine's got to be the best way to go with him as well. When we look at the striking, 87 rated with the engine. You go with a basic, it keeps, it makes him 88 to be honest. But we'll give him no balance, which I think is where he's really lacking on this card. Ends up with a 99 fin uh, sprint speed, which is always nice. But in terms of kind of prem and strikers or prem forwards at the minimum, we've obviously got an Ansu who can be a evolution, a, a relentless winger evolution. We have Nunes as a... Founders Evolution, as well as Dan Juma. So they're already two big cards that you won't see on this list already. You then got Nkunku, who I quite like, but I must admit more of a cam in my eyes. Haaland is an absolute monster. Son's very, very good. All the heroes up here. Uh, to be honest, I'd say it'd be Tevez Okocha to some extent. I thought he was more of a cam, if anything, but with a five-star, four-star, especially at the start of the game, you could probably do a lot worse. Then you obviously have Kuna as a beautiful 87 objective. He will be really, really nice, I think. But we see that there isn't necessarily a massive audience for them. We've got a Rashford as well, I suppose, and even Jota to some extent for the price. But other than that, you go further down, there is very few kind of middle tier strikers. It's either the Rashford or Haaland slash Nkunku or the likes of your Jesus, your Lukaku, uh, your Wilson, that are just not going to be enough to kind of carry you through already some very meta teams going on. I'd, I'd give him a solid... I feel like eight is a little bit too high, but I feel like the teams I was coming up against were of a certain caliber as well. I'll, I'll stick with an eight. I think for a starter striker, an eight would suit him down to the ground. Give it a couple of weeks and I'd probably say more towards the seven and going down just purely on the caliber of strikers that we will get in the near future. Road to the knockout, the next promo, the next promo. I'm just going to consistently go over the value of him unless he was to get another in form, obviously. But a, a nice striker, more middle tier if I'm being honest, which you could kind of expect for un just over 100k on the first hour of him being out. So let me know down below what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.